Good evening, everyone. Everyone, you're not going to believe what time it is here. It is about 10.25 p.m. And actually, I'm just, you're not going to believe it. I just woke up and I'm cooking dinner. I took out some steak strips before, you know, earlier this afternoon, but they weren't quite ready, you know, when I, when I first got, of course, they weren't ready. I just took them out the freezer. And they have been sitting here because I had went out. As a matter of fact, I went to the UPS store to take some stuff back to Amazon. I bought some more curtains and I took those back. They were like white. They just didn't look right to me. You know, and things just to me, they, I, I think they're not looking right because I've gotten so used to having this red in my house it's red and black and so to get other colors to blend in here and and you know just like marinate so to speak marry should i speak with the rest of my apartment i'm just going to have to get used to not seeing this uh these colors and so they were like uh i had wanted white but then when I got them, they said it's, well, they said it was grayish white, even in there. But I figured, hey, a little gray ain't going to hurt nothing in here. But when I got them up to the window, they just didn't look right. And so I took those back to um, UPS store to return. But then I ordered some gold ones, which they're supposed to come tomorrow. And something good tells me that I'm probably not going to like the gold ones either. But we shall see, y'all. We shall see. And like I said, I went to the UPS store to, uh, you know, take send that back because I wanted to buy some more. I wanted to make sure I had enough money in the bank to get, you know, the four other things. Now, I needed actually, let's see, I had two, four, two, three, wait a minute. I mean, maybe I don't remember. One pair goes over there. Two goes there, one, that's right, that's, I got three, because it's six pieces all together that, you know, comes in it, because they come in like two, two, a set of two, two panels in, in one pair, and so, hopefully I ordered them right, because Amazon didn't send me all the ones that I suppose I got in the other order, so I had to call them, tell them that they did not send me, you know, enough, and that, but they had charged me, and so, the lady gave me credit. She said, I get some credit for it. Matter of fact, they were sort of on sale. I think it was three, the three pairs were like 76, 70 something. I forgot, somewhere in that neighborhood. And that was on sale. But the ones that I, I'm getting tomorrow, which is the exact same style, but only a different color, that cost me like 80 some dollars. Go figure. I don't know, y'all. But anyway, as I was going to uh, the UPS store, I had almost gotten there. And down the street, I see my sister and her grandson. I said, wow. And so, I, you know, she asked me where I was going. I told her I was going to the UPS store to return some stuff. And she said she was on her way to uh, her husband's house. Because, you know, his mother had just passed away. My brother-in-law, his, his mother had just passed away. And um, she was going to go over visit with him for a little while. And I said, well, wait until I return this and I'll go with you. Because I hadn't wanted to go to the service myself. But, of course, my daughter never showed up, nor did she call me. So I did. Which is no excuse because I live right down the street from the church. But anyway... And so we went over there and spent the afternoon. Meanwhile, meantime, and in between time, my steak is still out here on the counter. Don't forget, I had taken it out before I had went to uh, the UPS store. And, uh, you know, to throw them up so that I could cook them. And so I went, we went over to his house, and I think we stayed, well, his mother's house, actually. And I, and I stayed there, we stayed there for about two or three hours talking to him and everything. And um, then we came back, <clears throat> came back home, and I just got so sleepy. I said, wow. So I go and jumps in the bed and take me a nap. 
And then when I woke up, I think it must have been about 8. I was really tired because actually my granddaughter had came by and I had been asleep then when she came by this morning. But, I, you know, which I am up early in the morning, but I had went back to bed, so that was like two naps in one day. That's a little bit much, I think, to be sleeping. But anyway, that's what happened. And, and as you can see, let me show you what I'm cooking because I got my house as a hot mess, y'all. Hot, hot mess. This is uh, some more stuff to Amazon I got to take back. All this here. These are some sneakers I bought from Amazon. They, the color is too bright. I thought it was a brick red, and it turns out it's that crazy looking orange red. I got to wash my dishes too, y'all. I got a lot of stuff I got to do before I hit that set tonight. Which I'm not sleepy right now anyway, so hey. Let's see if I can show you. What is in the oven? Here we go. Let's see. Do I have it? No. No. I don't want to mess around. I don't know if you can see. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I don't want to burn my pot. I can't tell. It's dark. Maybe I turn the light on. Let's just turn this light on in the stove. How about that? I don't know, but anyway, that's the steak, y'all. I cooked, I started it on top of the stove, but it wasn't getting tender. And so I said, well, uh, let me throw this bad boy in the oven. Oh, shoot, I got grease spilled all the way down there in my oven. I made another mess for me to clean up. But that's what, that's what happens, though. Sometimes you just make another mess. And I got Amazon boxes all over. These are Amazon boxes. I send that back. That's what my granddaughter, my granddaughter and her, her daughter, her little girl, my great-granddaughter was over here and left her stuff over here. I thought she was going to be coming back to get it, but she's not. And then this is a big Amazon box that um I had my... um. Uh, curtains in, but they didn't, you know, when you take it back to UPS, they say you ain't got to bring the box. So I ain't bring the box. I was glad about that, too. And all this stuff over here. Oh, brother. I mean, this is really curious, yeah? So how's everybody doing? I don't think I've been to, I don't think I've been up here since the 4th of July. I can't remember. It must have been like last week or something. I can't remember exactly. Let me see if I can see what when last my last uh, uh, video is it. My last. <coughs> um, let's see. Seven days ago, right there. There I am, seven days ago. You know what? I didn't realize it had been that long. It hadn't been that long. That it had been that long since I had made a video. But the only thing is, I'm turning, I'm stop slowing down with the videos because I'm just making all these videos. But I did get a new subscriber. And so I sort of narrowed it down, sort of, you know, spacing it out a little bit. But I, I don't like to go maybe too long. So I think one... A week is probably good enough. Because one time I was going like every day. But especially doing the Vlogmas. I was doing the Vlogmas every day. But I think that's what the Vlogmas is all about. But anyway, y'all. I've been hanging in there. Been doing pretty good. And uh, I have an appointment next week. So I got sort of a full week. And I need to go to um, what you call the grocery store to pick up some stuff. But the only thing I'm going to have tonight, you know, I don't even know if I'm going to have that tonight. I'm going to probably have it tomorrow because I've been snacking like a, you know, just like everything. I got chips over here. I had cookies over here. And this is a, a, <coughs> this is a smashed up oatmeal cookie I got over here. But I'm not even going to eat that because I had some Skittles. And I've been drinking plenty of water because it is hot in here. I was almost tempted to turn the air on, but I said, now if I turn that air on, I am going to be cold. 
So I said, well, let me just turn the fan. As a matter of fact, I was going to turn the fan on. And I forgot. So I turned the fan on. And I let that. Anyway, I turned the fan on, y'all. Let the air circulate some. Mm. Oh, boy, I've got to get some energy. I have no energy, y'all. But I'm going to drink me some water, though, because it is real, like I say, it's really hot in here, you know, with my oven. You know, that's the type of oven that, you know, it's a cheap oven. Ever since they put that new, it's supposed to be a so-called new oven, but I don't know where they got it from, because... That oven is about as cheap as you can get. They didn't take the other oven out, you know, the one that's in the oven. That that one's still there, so I still got two. You know, I got a range, and then I got an oven. I don't know when they're going to do it, y'all. And guess what, y'all? I thought I had lost my watch. You know, when you're not used to wearing a watch... You got to remember the word. Because I remember like when I first started smoking. When I first started smoking cigarettes. I had to remember to smoke. Okay. I used to wear a watch all the time before phones, you know, came. I still like a watch. I got some watches, but none of them got no batteries in them. I don't even know if they still work. But anyway, the smart watch that I got that came with the phone... I started wearing watches again. And I said, oh my goodness, because I thought I had it on my arm. You know, like when I went out today, I said, I think I lost my watch. I thought that watch was gone. I think I got ahead and said goodbye to the watch. Cause, you know, because the way it fastens, it fastens like a slip, the, 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 the what you call it, the band. You know, the, the part that you close the band with, the buckle, so to speak. Oh, the flap goes underneath. You know, it goes through next to your skin. In other words, it slips through there and goes under your skin. And I said I was going to lose it. I said, I'm going to lose this watch probably. You know, because my arm, I think my arm is fits up to like the second hole or something like that. And so I thought, okay, today I did it. I have lost that watch. <laughs> but guess what? Guess what, y'all? The watch was on its charger. <gasps> Don't you see? Don't you see? Yeah, it's charging. The watch is charging. And I'm thinking, okay, that watch is gone. I don't know where it's at now. I lost it somewhere. And I got the Because I do that sometimes with my phone. I'm looking all over for my phone. Trying to find the phone. And the phone is being charged. <laughs> Hello. And so I was glad, though. I was real glad about that watch because I like that watch. I really do. I like the idea, you know, you would turn it over, you look at it, and it lights up, tells you what time to do. As a matter of fact, that watch does a lot. It keeps up with your heart beat. Well, it's a smart watch after all. It keeps up with your heart beat, your heart, you know, your heart rate. And I think it will... Do your steps, you know, tell, how many, tell you how many steps you've taken that day or count your steps. And all. It does a lot. It really do. And I don't even know how to, you know, I, have, I don't even hardly know how to uh, work half the functions. I don't know what this is on this TV. I know one thing is grossing me out, y'all. Let me see if you can see it. I don't even know what it is. I have no idea what that is. I think it's under the reef. I think it's a crab because I see some little, you know, those pencils, but they're little. Oh, this is crazy. I got to turn away from that soon. But I just turned it off so I could come up here and talk to the YouTube community and the YouTubers. How y'all doing? I hope everybody is well. Everybody is around here is doing pretty good. And uh hope we do we can do better. But we're doing pretty good right now. 
and I better get off this phone so I can go ahead and pick up some stuff before I go to bed. It's just like stuff just strode around. It's like I'm a hoarder, but I'm not a hoarder. Not in this part of the house, anyway. I'm a hoarder in my bedroom. <laughs> I got a one-room hoarder. My bedroom is stacked wall to wall, ceiling to, well, not ceiling, but I do have a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of stuff in my room, boxes and stuff like that. But I know some of those boxes I can put in the closet, but I keep telling myself, clean the closet out, throw some of that junk away, because that's all it is, y'all, junk. It's stuff that I haven't worn. Some stuff in that closet, I, I'm willing to bet. That's over 15 years that I haven't even worn. Why am I holding on to those things? Do I, is it because I want to have a full closet? Pretend I got a lot of clothes? I don't know what why I do that, but I'm not the only one. I know I'm not alone when I do this. Because a lot of other people do that same thing. They got a whole bunch of clothes in their closet, but they only have a select few that they wear. Because like me, most of the times I go out, I got on my black pants and black jeans. And they hot now for the summer. But I had on a shirt. You know, I had this. Matter of fact, I had this shirt on today with my black jeans. Because I was running right up there to the, ooh, to the, <laughs> she had to watch that, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I had never seen nothing look like that before. But anyway, I had that on when I went to the store. But it was such a beautiful day. I, I was thinking about riding downtown. You know, when I went to the UPS store, I said I should just ride downtown, get me a cup of coffee, just to be going somewhere. Because my, my meat, like I said, wasn't thawed up yet. But, lo and behold, my sister and her grandson came by, and off I took up with them. I, You know, I just tra trailed along with them. I said, wait for me, and then I'll go with you. I volunteered my, you know, I'm going too. And so I went, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed being there for a while, because I very seldom visit. I can't remember the last time I've actually been in someone else's apartment or house. Now, some people, they just run in and out of your house all day, you know, especially in a place like, you know, that I live in. You know, if you get acquainted with, like, your neighbor or somebody way down, like on the end or in the middle of the unit that you're in or across the street or something like that. They run in and out of your house all day. Every day. Because I had that to happen to me before, and that's no good. To be running in and, out, in and out of somebody else's house. I don't even care if it's your mother. You got no business running in and out of nobody's house. Stay in your own home. And that way you have less problems. You don't have no arguments and no complaint. A lot of times you go over to your mother's house because I've done it myself, complain about something. You know, and when somebody comes to you with a complaint, that burdens you. It drops their burden right on you. And a whole lot of gossip. Talking about this person, that person, and blah, 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 blah. First thing you know, you're being stirred up the pot of, you know what? That word to start with an S. You're going to stir it up a pot of S. No, sugar, honey, iced tea. <laughs> so best thing for you is to stay home. If you want to, if you want to see people, meet them out. That's cause that's what me and my sister do. We meet out. Well, you know, during the pandemic, I can't go to her house in anyway. But she did stop here. We sat on the porch. God, look at that, y'all. Oh, no. What in the world? What is that? Let me get off the phone, y'all, because I know you don't want to watch these creatures that I'm watching. So, on that note, I go with love. See you again soon. Take care of yourself. And don't forget to love yourself. Pamper yourself. Buy yourself a new outfit if you want to. Go right ahead and go shopping and get yourself something to make, you, make your day, okay? Because that's what I'm going to do as soon as I get a chance to go to Walmart. <laughs> I have some stuff still that I got to take to Walmart. I still got those pillows that I've had, I don't know, two months? A month and a half, two months? 
I hope it ain't too late, but I wanted to send them back before, you know, the summer is over because it might be too late. I, I, you know, I still got them stacked over there straight up behind me. Wait a minute. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see Jack. Anyway, the same pillows are packed, packed up though. They're stacked up there on my couch. And so I need to take those back. That's what I would buy me a new outfit with. And I got some pants. They're like those linen pants that I got from Walmart. And I don't even like the way they look on me. <sighs> Couple shirts. Oh, well. Whatever is going to happen will happen, you know. I'll take them back when I get the opportunity. Uh, like I was saying, I got an appointment next week. And uh, while I'm taking my point, making my appointment, maybe I'll uh, take those back. Ah, oh, I gotta go, y'all. This is making me crazy. This, this, you know, let me let me stop saying that. I'm like a broken record. All I gotta do is look, 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 y'all. All I gotta do is turn the TV off, right? That's an octopus. I know what that is. Okay, on that note, y'all, have a good evening, and I'll talk to you again soon.